So I'm going to turn it inside out. Use a tiny Phillips head screwdriver to remove these four screws. And I have a towel down because there's screws inside and there's a couple springs inside so you don't want to lose anything. This is my last screw. And I'm having to use a screwdriver from a little eyeglasses repair kit. Now gently lift this up. Your watch should be similar to this. Note the tiny screw right there and right there. And this one is a little bigger. That one's built in, but these two will fall out. There's a little note here. After changing the battery, if needed, short circuit these two little sections. See the copper down in that little hole there? And it has a line through it. So you would just short out both sides of that. I think you only need to do that if your battery was completely dead, but we'll see how it goes. Next, remove these two black screws, one here and one up here. Once the two screws are removed, gently lift up this metal frame. Put that back down the same orientation. The battery just lifts off. So you put your new one in. It's a CR1616 flat side goes on top. You see that little piece of metal there? You got to push it in. Push that metal aside. Yeah, it's like spring loaded on the side. And then you put your metal frame back on top. My black screws stayed in, but if they don't, find them and put them in place. Makes it easier later. And now you see how there's four buttons. You push in on the sides to make sure the metal flanges on the end are going to push on that button when depressed. Do it to the other side too. There's two buttons here. So you have to get this down and in there and make sure the little metal flanges line up with the buttons. And now screw the screws back in the two black screws. Very good. Make sure the three springs are still there and they are. And now I'm going to turn it around to make sure it's on, and mine is. If not, you'll have to short circuit the two portions of that little copper pad in there. Line that up. Make sure the Armatron is facing up, based on the front. Put that back on. And put your screws back in. And that's it. After replacing the battery, reset the date and time. Press the A button at top left, long press it, hold it down for a couple seconds, and you see the seconds is flashing. I'm fine with the seconds, so I'm going to go on to the hour, press the B button to change the item that's flashing, and keep pressing it to get to the right number. So I'll say 11 o'clock, and it's about 11.15. If you miss it, you have to go all the way around. There's no reverse. And it comes up to the year 2000. This is the year 2024. So, and don't miss it. There we go. And it's February. So I just press that once to change it from one to two. Press this again to go on to the day. And today's the 18th. And I'm all done. So I'm just going to. Press A to get out. I'm in standard 12 hour time. If I prefer military, just press the A button to go back and forth between standard and military time. That's about it. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.